Blue Lock Season 2 Episode 3 is out and where do I begin? It seems like I'll be saying this every single week with the quality of episodes we are being given. For all the manga readers, I'm sure you can understand what I mean when I say some of these panels weren't done justice. Maybe the anime only watchers won't have much of a problem because they haven't seen what we've seen. And if you just look at it from that POV, then it's not too bad. But yeah, the CGI is still unbearable to me. This episode is also a really big one for this season because it's the first time Misagi is supposed to use Metavision and his flow state with his blacked out eyes. But if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more Blue Lock reviews. Moving on to the episode that takes place from chapter 101 to 104. Coming back from the end of the last episode where Shido and Rin got into each other's way. And now they are down 4-2. They need to score 3 goals or Isagi might not get that start. Isagi really needs to show his worth. Rin and Shido not being able to work together is something Isagi can use to his advantage. But Karasu is playing the greatest 1v1 defense we've seen. Even what Rudiger did to Haaland doesn't compare. And let me be honest, I'm not a fan of the whole chess piece animation they got going on. But now I guess I'm just being too picky. The camera movement though, mixed in with the few 1-2s and triangles, aren't bad. And with Shido being the craziest striker in the penalty area, which was to be expected if you know who he is. Isagi did get an assist though, after getting past Karasu, but that's obviously not enough. Isagi really thought he'd get a pass back from someone like Shido. Then Isagi and Rin tag teaming Karasu to get the ball back and counter with the three linking up. But Isagi smoked an open layup and Rin had to bail him out again. And then we see Isagi with red aura and red lighting, which seems kinda weird to me. He stole Baro's whole flow. Even Hiyori had to tell him to tee up. And I know there's gonna be some people that hate how Isagi's flow was done. But I actually think this is one of the best things they've done this season so far. Apart from him blazing past like a rocket, and it's not so much how it happened, but just that both Rin and Shiro stood still. But everything else from the black and the white with the green eye and the green aura from Isagi's eyes all look beautiful to me. Even the still images, at least some of them have the hair moving, which is a massive improvement but the expectations were on the floor. And that's not to say that all of them, some are just like the previous episode. And now Isagi is starting to use his reflexes a bit more. And combining that with his foresight and adaptability, he's becoming a really good player. He was able to assert himself in this episode after creating an opening between Rin and Shido. Isagi finally went into Metavision for a bit, showing us how crazy it can be leaving both Rin and Shido surprised at his sudden emergence. Rin and Shido were of course really good in this episode, scoring the two goals to get them back. And Rin was able to counter Karasu before scoring his goal and being an Isagi hater as always. And Shido's aura when he intercepted the ball in the air looked really good. But it's like I said in the previous video, the way they did the auras this season is actually really good. Nanase had a few good plays in this episode, but it wasn't really much of a standout. He was basically just supporting players. But he was the reason that Isagi was able to get past Karasu. But yeah, not much more than that. And Saramadara and Shiguma were absolutely useless. Their main job in this game was to play defense, and no defense was being played. Obviously with someone like Shido, who is an anomaly, so I can't really fault them for that but they still couldn't do shit. And the next game seems really interesting too. We're seeing Rayo and Nagi back together since the second selection. I'm not expecting it to look insanely good, but one can still hope, right? In all honesty, this episode was better than the previous one, and I'll give this one a 7 out of 10. It was a slight upgrade, but not too much. Some parts of the animation could still be better as well as the usage of CGI, but from what we saw in the last episode, I'm not too mad to be honest. But that's all I've got for you today. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.